And happening tonight, opening night of You'll Catch Flies. It deals with coming out, a coming out story, which takes place at a reunion with friends who discover the value of real intimacy. Joining me this morning to talk more about this brand new play is the playwright Ryan Fogarty and one of the six actors in the play, uh, Vajo. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Uh, I know it's bright and early for you, so thanks a lot for getting up this morning. Uh, Ryan, let's start with you. I have to ask you about the title of the play, You'll Catch Flies. Where did that come from? Uh, sure. Um, it's an old saying about you know keeping your mouth closed. It's a little improper to leave it oh. hanging open. Uh, it's a little bit of a nod towards uh, being shocked. So when you're shocked, you might drop your mouth open, so <laughs> keep it closed. And do we see a lot of uh, shocked faces from the audience? There's quite a few, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. T tell us more about the inspiration behind this play. Your very first one. Congratulations, Thank by the you. way. Thank you. Yeah, this is my first production. Yeah. Um, big shout out to New Conservatory Theater Center for giving me my first opportunity. Um, yeah, the inspiration for the play came from really, I think, the time in our lives, when our, in our early 30s, I'd say, where our friendship group starts to change a little bit and we sure. might not realize it, and mm -hmm. then it sort of starts to change in front of us. And, yeah. yeah. So there's, th does this come from real life? Yeah, sure. It definitely comes from several conversations I've had mm -hmm. in recent years where you're just sort of noticing, hmm, my friend is and I aren't really seeing eye to eye anymore on a lot of things, or maybe we're not agreeing we used on to our be choices. So tight. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. happened? Yeah. Um, and then, and it's okay, and and it's you might your heart might break a little bit, but I think you both kind of acknowledge that things are changing, and you're both going your own separate ways. Yeah, yeah. part of life. Yeah, Vaho, how did how did you prepare for this role? First of all, tell us about your role, and then how do you prepare for that? Well, I uh, play Marcos. Mm -hmm. He's a outside kind of member of the group. Uh -huh. He's not super in, but he, you know, he left for Spain three years ago and mm -hmm. he's coming back to this reunion party. Um, before he left, he wasn't completely out. Um, now he's coming back to this party and he is all the way out. <laughs> and um, he has... And his friends haven't seen him since then. No, and okay. especially one of them, Jay, um, who is his love interest. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he they never got to do anything together, and now this is maybe his chance to kind of explore that I see. and see how that works um, and how that affects their their relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I understand that this movie is a comedy, but obviously there are going to be some serious overtones. What challenge is that for an actor to have to be adept at both within moments? I think it's just believing in the circumstances uh -huh. completely and wholly without any doubts. And then um, for me, it's been a process of, it's. For me, it always starts as a physical process. So I do a lot of um, stretching, kind of yogic exercises to keep myself open so that when I need to go light, I can go light. And when I need to go heavy, I can go heavy. Yeah. Um, but it took months, you know, months and months of training. Yeah, this, is, this isn't something that you just can e immediately jump into, is it? No, no, it's a slow process, uh, kind of a painful process. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and then in that process, um, you just discover a lot of things about your own, even psychology. and once you start opening yourself up physically mm -hmm. and doing the play and in rehearsals you just see a lot of things of your own personality that you might not dislike at all ah. and that you must bring out but that's that's kind of the job that we have you it's know it's all part of the process absolutely isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Ryan tell us about uh, one of the themes in this play that that focuses on searching for a true connection which Vaho kind of brought out a bit here yeah, you know, I think one of the other inspirations for the play was that, you know, we have so much to bring us together these days. You mm -hmm. have, you know, texting and there's email and there's tons of apps. <laughs> and, you know, to my own credit, I met my current boyfriend of three and a half years on an app. Uh -huh. But there's also the darker side of things. And there's, you could be in a room with someone and they're on their phone that whole time. And are you engaged? Are you connected? No. Yeah. So what, how does technology bring us close and how does it separate us? So. There, there's a lot going on there and we want to let people know where they can see uh, You'll Catch Flies. Tonight's show is sold out, but the play runs through February 23rd. We have a lot more details for you on show times, pricing. You can get it all on our website at cron4.com. The information's on your screen. Congratulations to both of Thank you on this brand new play. It's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We'll be right back.